Hi Virgo, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Virgo, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Virgo. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the hanged man, and this is Pisces energy. So this is an energy of someone who is uh, waiting. There's some sort of pause, delay, non-action. This could also be a no contact type of situation, but there is this energy here of someone who's trying to get another perspective when it comes to the situation. Some sort of sacrifice is needing to be made, or someone here is making a sacrifice when it comes to the situation. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Four of Wands, Fire Energy, the Five of Wands, Fire Energy, and the Knight of Pentacles, Earth Energy. Okay, so there's this energy here of it's been a struggle to get to this point with the, the, um, the Five of Wands. It does look like this is someone where you may not see eye to eye. Um, there is this energy of there being differing views or perspective in the situation and this can have led to some sort of conflict or drama there could even be other people involved in the situation with the five of wands showing up um, but there is this energy of someone taking time away from the situation to try to get a better understanding and during this time this person is it's like they are starting to see things from your perspective there is this energy of someone who is becoming more enlightened about the situation and what they want from the situation and the connection. And um, it's like it's happening very slowly. But this person, it's like once they come out of this hanged man energy, they are going to come back with some sort of offers. You know, this is a serious energy with the Knight of Pentacles. It, they're going to take their time, but this is someone who's coming back with serious intentions. There's something around wanting to solidify a relationship or to define a relationship. It's like they're getting more clear on what they want and getting more clear on how they can integrate both of you guys' perspectives. Because we do have that four of wands as well, which is an energy of achieving a milestone, um, you know, moving a connection forward in some way. Um, but they have to sacrifice something here first. There's this energy of them feeling like something needs to be sacrificed. And this could be sacrificing the need to have other people interfere or other people's opinions because we do have the five of wands which does show outside influence so this person it's like they're trying to listen to their own inner voice and as well as trying to see things from other perspectives other than their own and um this there is this energy of them releasing the need to have uh, too much input in the situation this is someone who um when they come back they're going to come back with a more grounded energy because we have the knight of pains close there okay so Let's clarify these cards for a go. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Emperor, and this is Aries energy. So this is some big decision this person needs to make, and it does look like it's it's requiring a lot of maturity. It's requiring them to take the lead in some way or to take some sort of initiative. To to to, it's almost like they need to man up or boss up in some way and it does require them putting certain people in their place or turning something down um sacrificing something and um you know being more so in this 
matured emperor energy okay so let's see we have the two of cups water energy the eight of wands fire energy and the world card fixed sign energy okay so this person they do love you we have the two of cups this person does see you as their person they see you as someone that they want to get on the same page as you and this person they, they want to empathize with you so we do see them it's like they're starting to see things from your perspective and there's this energy of them wanting to have empathy with you um so we do see here them taking time away in order to get this understanding or clarity but there is this energy of coming back with communication, um, having some sort of um, mutual understanding with you, getting on the same page, communicating, um, and forward movement as well. Okay, so we do see here some sort of progression happening for this connection. With the world card, there is also that energy of um, ascending to the next level because we also have the four of wands, which is stepping into the next phase of the relationship. So there is some sort of progression that's happening here for this connection and it, it does look like it's not happening overnight because we do see someone here who's taking time away to first figure some things out with that hanged man energy but they will come back stronger okay so i'm going to pull out an oracle card for you virgo So the card says confidence is your key to success new moon in leo okay so there is that energy this person is needing to step into this emperor energy um some it's like they need to uh, release something or um you know it's almost like stand up to certain people or release or change or sacrifice some sort of need to have approval from others but there's something about them needing to really gain this confidence and they, they it's like they're trying to fill these shoes to become this emperor energy so that they can show up as a better version for this connection okay so i'm going to put another card for you virgo So the card says forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moment so something is needing to be released or sacrificed or healed in some way and this person is going to take time to do that um, they may want to do that alone in solitude so we do see some sort of pause or delay before um, this two of cups can really happen or this four of wands okay so i'm going to pull out another card for you virgo card says destiny it is not in the stars to hold our destiny but in ourselves so this person is it's they're trying to become more um assertive this is someone who feels like they need to do something they need to implement a change to make this connection work they need to um you know come out of passivity um and step more into this uh emperor energy and there is this energy of them them taking on this role it's like this person is um you know it's like they're they're going to be taking action in the situation okay so that's what i'm seeing for you um virgo i hope you have a really really good day virgo bye virgo